how to troubleshoot emergency calls only bug on Galaxy S10. Are you having no service issue or emergency calls only bug on your Galaxy S10? Learn how to fix it in this video. Refreshing your S10 is an important troubleshooting first step in this case. Emergency calls only bug sometimes occur when a device temporarily loses connection from a cell tower, like when you're traveling. Once you're in a location with good service, emergency calls only disappears. In some cases though, this does not happen and the bug sticks. You will need to manually turn off the device in order to refresh the system. If nothing changes after restarting your S10, the next troubleshooting step that you can do is confirm there's no problem with network services in your area. If you have another phone that's compatible with your network, use that to check. If the second phone shows the same bug, you must contact your network operator for help. There must be a problem with your carrier's service where you're at, so it's good if you can get first-hand confirmation from them. Sometimes network issues occur if the SIM card is not properly inserted in the tray or if it's not making good contact with the board. To fix the problem, turn off your device and remove the SIM card tray. Then after 5 seconds, reinsert the SIM card, making sure that the card fits snugly in the slot. Afterwards, turn your phone back on and see what happens. If you suspect that there may be a problem with the current SIM card, try to get a new one or visit your local carrier and have the card replaced. This is a good way to make sure that there's no problem with the SIM card you're using moving forward. Fixed dialing services may sometimes interfere with regular network functions. If you have fixed dialing on your account, try to disable it and see if that will make a difference. Just ignore this suggestion if you have postpaid subscription or if you don't use it. Some users have reported to have fixed emergency calls only bug after turning on and off airplane mode on their device. Make sure to try it on your device. While restarting the device and receding, the SIM card can refresh the network settings. There's another way to achieve the same. In many cases, this method is even more effective than restarting or receding the SIM card. This method is manually changing the network mode. In order to load apps quickly, Android uses a set of temporary files called System Cache. Sometimes this cache may become corrupted or updated resulting to performance problems or bugs. If you got your S10 as a pre-owned device, or if you suspect that it may be blocked, you can check its IMEI status. Carriers may block a device for a variety of reasons, and if that occurs, its IMEI may also be blacklisted. To check the status of your device's IMEI, you can go to this site, imei.info. Clearing the current network settings sometimes help in fixing network troubles. Be sure to do so if none of the mentioned solutions has helped. The final troubleshooting step that you can do on your device is to wipe it with factory reset. Make sure to back your personal data up before you do it. If all these device troubleshooting won't work at all, you can assume that the problem is not within the device itself. It's most probably coming from your network, so be sure to get help from them. That's it, we hope this video is helpful. Please subscribe for more S10 videos in the future.